Welcome to the AJ Awesome Show, a show about my favorite things. My name is AJ, and my special guest for this episode is Lady Frost. I hope you like the show. Hello, everybody. I'm here with Lady Frost. Hi, guys. Why did you decide to become a wrestler? Uh, so my husband actually was a wrestler and I went to an independent show and I fell in love with the audience and actually the little kids there. What advice would you give to a new wrestler? Oh my, take care of your body, eat right, condition, go to the gym, get your sleep. That's very important. Um, and treat yourself like an athlete. Like, don't just go to, I don't know, McDonald's every day and order 10 McDoubles or something. (laughs) Correct. That's probably not the best idea. Even if you're not a wrestler. Right. Yeah, that's not a good, that's not good in life in general. Eat your vegetables and drink your water. (laughs) If you could choose to have any superpower, what would you pick? Ooh. Um, I think time travel would be really cool. My husband can kind of do that a little bit, (laughs) Victor Benjamin. Um, But no, for real, I think time travel would be awesome to just see the history uh, of the world and the way things happened and maybe what's going to happen in the future. Would you, on that topic, would you rather time travel to the past or to the future? Um... I think to the future, for sure. We have a lot of things documented about the past and uh, history books and movies and and things that let us know what already happened. And in the future, it's kind of unknown. So you get to discover something new. But who knows what could happen in the future? That's right. But I'm going to take my chances because the past already happened. It's done. There's nothing we can do about it. And it already got us here. So might as well take a gamble on the future. What is the best thing about being a wrestler? The fans, for sure. The audience, the emotion, uh, the cheers, the boos in our case. Um, But the interaction with the crowd is by far the best. What are your favorite pizza toppings? Oh, it's definitely not pineapple. I'll tell you that much. Um, (laughs) I'm mostly just a cheese pizza kind of gal. I don't do a whole lot of toppings. I like a white pizza. So uh, like mozzarella, feta, spinach, those kind of things. Does that count? (laughs) Yeah. My ideal pizza is pepperoni pineapple with the crust being uh, garlic with cheese on the inside. And with a side being wings and cheese bread. That's a lot of things. You eat that all in one sitting? Yeah. Oh boy. I hope you're active. Do you work out, play sports? Uh, I do not play any sports, but I run around a lot. Okay, well that's good. <laughs> Cause that's a lot of food, but that's all right. You're growing, you're growing. So um, garlic, Stuffed crust pizza sounds delicious, but pepperoni and pineapple sounds painful. That's a lot of alliteration right there. All those peas. But that sounds gross is what I'm saying. (laughs) I like pepperoni pineapple because just the pepperoni has a sort of spice and then the pineapple takes away the spice. See, it just has the taste of the pepperoni and pineapple. I gotcha. I mean, whatever you're into, if that's what you enjoy, then you go ahead and enjoy that. (laughs) How would you describe your wrestling style? My wrestling style? Uh, Effective. Whatever gets the job done. But I would say that I'm definitely acrobatic. I have lucha influence and I am a striker. What is your favorite Disney movie? So it's not Frozen, as everyone would probably like to assume. I've never seen the movie Frozen or Frozen 2. (laughs) Um, 
and I don't watch a lot of Disney movies. So I'm an only child and I don't have any children. So I wasn't really exposed to a lot of Disney films. Don't get mad at me. <laughs> I remember liking The Little Mermaid. Um, so I'll have to go with Little Mermaid. <laughs> My favorite is a mix. I like Coco, Lion King, and I forgot the last one. <laughs> I like Lion King, too. Lion King was really good. Actually, the last one is Wally e because it's a sort of Disney Pixar mix. Yes. I gotcha. Who were your inspirations in pro wrestling? I didn't have a lot of inf uh, inspirations other than my husband because I feel like everyone that I watched provided some sort of education or emotion. So I was very moved by everyone in the beginning. Uh, but I did watch a lot of Will Ospreay's matches um, because he was extremely, extremely talented and acrobatic and smooth. Um, Pac right now on television is another one, aggressive, angry, and also insanely athletic. So I pull from a little bit of everywhere. If you had to pick another job in wrestling besides being a wrestler, what would you choose? Uh, so I'm a fitness instructor most times and a dance instructor. I like to help people in real life. So those are my two, two professions. I'm also a licensed cosmetologist, so I can cut and color hair and do nails and all those things. Um, I like to do a little bit of everything and interior design. That's probably, we'll go with interior design. How's that? Okay. <laughs> what was your favorite match you wrestled and why? Hmm, I have a lot of favorites. It's hard to pick. So I'll pick a recent one because wrestling during the last year was very, very different and we didn't really have um, audiences or anything, but I wrestled an outdoor show against Riley Shepard and... We had a feud going on, and this was a no holds bar, no DQ um, match. And if you saw any footage, I had an ice bucket that I dumped over her head and super kicked her, and then moon salted on top of her. So it was a really fun fight. Yep. And there was a snowball fight on the outside. She was sitting in a chair, so she got a snowball fight. Um, it was really, really fun. <laughs> so I'll have to go with that one for now. If you could wrestle anybody, alive or dead, who would you pick? You have such difficult, difficult questions for a little one. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have any dream opponents. I think it has to happen naturally. I think, like, you don't know who's going to be an amazing opponent until it happens. So, no answer for that one. <laughs> Is there anything else you would like us to know about you? Other than that, I'm the coolest professional wrestler you'll ever meet or speak to. I think that covers everything, right? I have two awesome dogs, the proper poochies. Go follow the proper poochies. <laughs> and here's the paintings of them. Aw, they're cute. Do you have any social media that we can follow? I'm Real Lady Frost on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And I have a pro wrestling tea store, Lady Frost, a big cartel, Lady Frost, and a Patreon at Pretty Proper. That's the end. Thanks for the interview. You're welcome, babe. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the AJ Awesome Show. I would like to thank Lady Frost for being my special guest. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.